Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this quick tip I want to go over with you your heat, replacing your heater cable in your Volkswagen. It could be any kind of Volkswagen, uh, but uh, I did a video a few years ago when it came to trying to clean out that clogged tube that's in your Volkswagen chassis in order to get the new heater cable in because a lot of times you know throughout the years these cables rot and rust out and uh, you know you have no heat. That was a big complaint about Volkswagen is that they had no heat. So if you want to replace your heater cable, many times when it comes to inserting this into the chassis and then having it exit out the bottom of the car, uh, sometimes you hit a wall. Okay, so when you push when you're pushing these through the tube, this end here, you're hitting a wall and it doesn't want to go any further. Now you can go watch the old video I did on how to clean out the tube, but sometimes even that doesn't work the greatest. Uh, so I want to show you here a quick tip on what I sometimes do that really works wonders. Um, and that is this. See the ends of the heater cables we have here? There's like these shafts here, right? And this is what grabs into these barrels that are on the heat box arms. And this is what then pulls the barrels that pulls the arms and then opens the flaps on the heat boxes to allow heat to come into your Volkswagen. So what I sometimes do is if you are inserting this into the tube and it does not want to come out the other end, what I do is I'll put this on the grinding wheel or some other way if you have uh, access to some other tool to grind this down to make it like a pencil point. So you want to make these like a point, kind of like this pencil here, okay? That sometimes will help dig its way through the tube to exit out and now you're clear because what's happening is, is like on the end of this shaft, you know, it's flat. So if there's grime or dirt or gunk in there that just doesn't want to move, sometimes you even you know little specks of uh, you know grainy dirt or sand or whatever, it doesn't want to go through. But with a point, it's able to go through a lot easier. All right, so try that. Okay, if that doesn't work, sometimes as a last last resort, we'll cut the shaft off the cable here. These cables are not are not expensive. So you could always get another one if need be. But we cut these off. Okay, so now you just have the wire. Now some sometimes, you know, the wire is it's so thin that it really goes through like butter. Alright, because it's just such a thin wire and it'll go right through the dirt and the grime and it'll exit out the shaft. Now what do you do when you don't have this end now to hook up to the barrel? Well they do sell these two pieces on the market. This is a cable extending kit and a cable shortening kit. And you can put these on there and this has an allen screw that inserts on the end of the cable and now you have your shaft again or you can use this one to make it longer because you are cutting the shaft down a little bit uh, just make sure you might want to change the screw here because uh, i think the screws that come with these things don't really hold the cable too well but uh it's actually a cable extending because this is actually what's supposed to go on this shaft here but you can make it work so we have done this, this trick before with success. Um, it's not always guaranteed. Uh, it really depends on how blocked up your tube is. Um, but instead of, you know, before you want to drill uh, into the tube to try to get all the gunk out, um, you know, you might want to try this technique first. Uh, we do like to spray down into the tube with some, you know, uh, penetrating uh, fluid or WD-40, just something to loosen it up and we like to let it sit inside the tube for a while, maybe even overnight, and then try to insert this cable. I know this can be problematic sometimes, but uh, this is one tip we've used in the past, and uh, it seems to have worked, so good luck. Uh -huh.